guys just watch me how I organize my outfits. But if you guys don't know by now, which is I know you don't, or you may because the video should be up by now, but I am now 30 years old. I just celebrated my 30 year my 30 years birthday in New York and now I am back home and I am a full time entrepreneur so I have let's just not even get into that part but let's just talk about some of the things that we're going to be doing today I actually need to write my to-do list down so but before I do that, let me just show y'all my lip combo. So I go in with liner. It's not a good liner today. But I'm going to go in with this. Um, liner right here. It says Perfect Pair Duo. And it's by Absolute New York. Absolute New York. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go in with this NYX. It's in the color Prayline. Go in with this on the outskirts. Not even the outskirts. I don't even know why I said that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Then we're gonna take our NYX. This is in the color Fortune Cookie Biscuit Chino. But my to do list for today is gonna be um, to the gym. Um, and then we're gonna go scope out some spots for this week because my goal is to um, get some outfit reels going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is the goal, okay? That's my goal, that's what I wanna do, okay? And then after that, we are going to go to one of the like Uptown Cheapscape or one of the the good thrift stores that's not a goodwill you feel me that they actually choose what they take in their store so we're gonna go to one of those thrift stores to find a, try to find some browns nudes creams things like that in those colors and the type of things that i want to wear and i want to bring y'all with me so i might have to charge my battery at the gym and then after that i gotta go to the courthouse that i need to pay a fine or to get or whatever um and then after we do that we're gonna come back home and we're gonna edit some vlogs or i might go out in the street i'm gonna bring my computer and edit some vlogs so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna be charging my battery at the gym because i want to vlog today so yeah let's go ahead and get straight to it all right guys so currently i'm in the car my car is a hot mess I'm gonna just turn the air condition off for you so the mic is not being tampered with. But I'm just now leaving the gym, so that's check for the gym. It's 1.50. What time was I working out? Yeah, so I worked out for about an hour and some change. And now I'm trying to figure out what's the best chronological order I should do this in. I think the best order that I should do this in is go to the courthouse because I want to see if they can waive these fees, honey. After that, I'm going to go right around downtown Raleigh to look for spots and I'm going to pin those locations um for tomorrow because it looks nice outside right now but the weather see now it says it's not gonna rain till five o'clock so i'm definitely just gonna go browse around downtown and see what they what kind of photo spots they have to offer like big white walls like maybe like a brick wall white wall um black wall brown wall tan wall you know nothing like pretty much minimalist I never thought I don't I'm definitely not a minimalist but I never ever thought that I would be trying to look for anything minimal or basic or just you know 
not basic like i'm looking for extraordinary but i'm also looking for plain <laughs> not plain but i'm looking for chic yes i'm looking for chic see i even got a brown phone case to like try to go with my aesthetic like i'm all the way in it okay i'm in it I want to pull out in front of you, Bozo. You should have been put your signal on because then I would have known you was turning. Come on, Puerto Rico. What is up with these people not putting on their signals until they get in the turning lane? That's the whole point of the signal before you get into the turning lane. Now all these cars coming. So I'm going to go because I don't need to try to hold this camera up because I need my right hand to whip it to the right. All right, all right. Can you make that a grande, my bad. Okay. Thank, thank you. Y'all, yeah, dang, I forgot to get a croissant. Blip. I need a croissant with that. Dang, on. hold up. Uh, can you add a chocolate croissant with that, please? Not bad, dang, I'm all over the place. Warm it up. I'm go from 785 to 11.85 with a chocolate croissant. Oh, I got to swipe it. Oh, you didn't? Oh. No, it, my beard has been acting up lately. Okay. It's so long, it's like, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know better. I got something like a caramel cookie crumble. Hey guys, I'm back. And I just left the courthouse. So now I am around looking for scenic areas. I think I could find um, more in Fayetteville, like downtown Fayetteville. I feel like I could find more um, scenic not scenic but like a plain wall somewhere where i could just take a photo in fayetteville downtown fayetteville then i can here in raleigh because but let me not say that i know i can find maybe two or three good spots and if i can't really find nothing over here then i'm gonna head over to glenwood because glenwood has like a bunch of little bars and like little cute stuff over there so maybe i'll be able to find like something solid on one of the side streets Y'all, so I've been looking for a smooth 10 minutes. I'm trying to back my car up so because I found something, so I had to make a quick turnaround and go and scope out the spot. I found I didn't oof. Frappuccino is no Frappuccino. Probably vintage. Like I think right here is the spot. Probably vintage. What is that? Is that closed? Yeah, so I'm gonna come back here tomorrow. I think this is where I'm gonna do my first batch of pictures. And I'm probably gonna walk around in this, in this area right here because, like, over here, like, even if I don't find a wall, they have like a lot of greenery over here, like right here. But you know, the lighting is stupid right there. So, like, then there's a trash can right here. But then this little, you know, area, like, right here is real clean right so maybe i could go right there guys i made it i know y'all trying to see me in the car y'all want to see something so actually it's not um uptown cheapskate i don't know if we have one of those here i think we do but i was meaning play-doh's closet and then there's another one called closed mentor i think that's like probably where i need to be because they got apparently they have like more high-end clothing thank you Right, hello. Most of the time I like to start from the back of the store. I'm gonna start from the front. Good way to hang up my clothes in my closet. This is a good way. I have shirts like this in my closet. I can hang them up like this. That's smart. It's only four dollars. It's a medium now. This is cute. All right, y'all. Right, 
I was trying to tell y'all I wasn't able to find that in the other store, but I came down to a close mentor. And it looks promising in here. They have a lot more quality items in here. So we're about to see what we can find. Some cute purses in here. Quality too. Look at this purse. This is cute. This is what, $189? That's cute. I didn't find nothing in there. Either. And it's a hot shame. Like I thought I found something and it was like um it was like that's Wayne Bryant. It was like a what do you call it? An extra large shirt that I possibly could have I was gonna try to make into like an oversized shirt but it was extra large in women's and it was cute i put it would have been cute um and then i had this like cute little vintage bag that went perfect with the shirt because the shirt said a moral on it but it was like in black um rhinestone and pearls and then the, it was like this true vintage purse it was like a little black box purse um and it was silver and it was like silver and velvet black velvet with silver rhinestones and but the rhinestones were like not a lot so it was really cute but the shirt was just not giving at all with anything i put on like the back was a little bit higher than the front so there was no way i was gonna wear it as a over large shirt so um yeah i put everything back like so now i'm about to go to h m because like i feel like if i go to h m and I always find stuff in the sales section in the men's area. So that's what I'm gonna go. Look! How many stores I've been to? I've been to four, four stores and I found one item. And I actually tried to go to Sears and Sears is closed, love. Mm -mm. No more Dominican hair salons for me. All right, guys. So I'm in the parking garage. I'm about to go into the mall now. Um, yeah. So my mic is currently hanging off of my camera, so I'm not gonna bring my camera inside. I'm gonna leave it in the car because I am not gonna be able to talk to you guys with this thing hanging down like this. Um, there's a screw loose, and I tightened it, but I guess it. I noticed it was loosening up again. So I'm about to go into the mall, go into H&M, and. This, oh, I'm going to go into H&M, and then if I don't find nothing in H&M, I'm going to go into Forever 21. I've been going on all the clearance racks because that's the only thing I'm budgeting. I'm on the clearance racks. I'm not spurging. I just came from New York. New York was expensive, and I bought stuff in New York, so I'm on the clearance racks, love. But anyway, so I'm about to hit them all, and I will let y'all know what I find, if I find anything, when I get back. I got my microphone back on to the side of my camera. I'm just going to show y'all what I've got in the store. So, I'm going to show y'all the outfit tomorrow because I'll probably finish this vlog. So, I got these. They're not, they're like the, they're not flare, but I got these from, see, sometimes you got to like search and look what you're looking for. And these are the pants that I've been in love with lately. So, I got these pants with this tan shirt okay now i don't know if i'm gonna wear that tomorrow i low-key might wear the tan shirt but i got the pants from Route 21 and i got the this shirt from forever 21 and so what i'll be doing right i'll go and search through the sale racks like nobody's business because sometimes you can find gems in there like this shirt right here i found oh no but this was in the sale rack yeah i got this from urban outfitters but this is like kind of like what i was looking for this um type of material like i don't know if you can like this type of material i was looking for something more like that but I can't find it, love. I can't find it. All right, guys. It is the next day, and um, I'm ready. So this is the outfit that I decided to go with. This outfit. 
um, these pants. <laughs> and I cut my hair, but I don't know if you guys can tell really. And then I'm going to be wearing these shoes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because we don't have that much vlogging time. So I'm going to turn this off and we will be back. Y'all know before I was a little complainer. I was like, I don't know how look in my pants are right. Yappa yappa yappa. These photos came out fire. I even went inside the little restaurant and I'm like, hold up, me and my friend like I'm about to go there. The outside seating area was really nice. So y'all see in the photos. I may post some photos. I didn't I didn't show y'all when I went inside, but it had like a little pool. Like that looked like it could have been like somebody old mansion. Like it was giving me cartel vibes, you know. But the pictures came out fire, and I'm really glad that I did not stop taking pictures and I didn't let the the traffic people looking at me scare me because some people were looking and when I looked at them they did not look away just had to keep on posing I had to give them what they was wanting I had to give them what they was looking for so I'm gonna wait to pay a bill I'm gonna put this down so I can finish listening to my music and uh yes I'm gonna go see my little got me turn that off so I am in Vietnam North Carolina and I got two compliments today y'all this one woman she said I reminded her of um Either something, but you know that little Hispanic lady. People always think I'm freaking Hispanic. That little Hispanic lady that played on Hitch. That Hitch fell in love with. And I was like, you right! That is what it's giving. It's giving that. It's giving that. And then... It was also... This other lady, she was real pretty. But I got a little, I gotta eat something because I only ate a banana and I am hungry. Sometimes I just be wanting to eat stuff with chopsticks. Mars pizza. Eat in there. I don't know. I'm gonna decide because I like to eat in my car sometimes. Let's do a mukbang in, in the car. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, I'm in Mod's Pizza. My haircut is still haircut. You hear it. And then I'm gonna be getting. The Mod Pizza Crush. And then I'm gonna just add all the stuff I want on it. Pretty much, but oh, oh my god, you're so pretty. <laughs> you're welcome. So, let me show y'all my pizza, it's looking delicious. Let no, not, not lettuce, tomato. I got 
a little bit of I got pepperoni cheese, spinach, tomatoes, pineapple, red bell peppers. Like I'm so glad I ordered this, and then I'm like, is that how thin the crust gonna be? He like, yeah, but we got the other one, which is the mega crust, and I'm like, nah, I don't need all of that. I don't even need no a lot of bread anyway. I'm just loving. I'm glad I cut my hair. Ah, uh, ah, uh, who here? Who this? <laughs> it's given Italian gourmet just because how I made my pizza. I will say the crust is a bit chip like. I'm talking about let's do a mukbang. Yeah. Pizza is all I got. Oh yeah, and I got this drink. It was called like a wild raspberry something. But then they had also a, a vintage lemonade. So I was like, let me try the raspberry. And it was good. So I said, let me get that raspberry. Dang, did he not do my slice? Like, come on. I don't want no big fat slice like that. But anyways, I'm going to get off here now.